All right, so if you need something quick and easy for dinner, we promise this recipe will be a new family favorite. We're making chicken parmesan meatballs. Yummy. Courtesy of our friend Gabby Dalkin from What's Gabby Cooking? And she's just released her fourth what? cookbook. It's called Take It Easy. She's got a baby who's 16 months? A year and a half. Months. 20 months. 20 months. 20 months. Oh, very months complicated. Months. 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 Bobby, she's got lots that person's oh, very oh, yummy. Very beautiful baby. Her name's Poppy. What? Her yeah. name's Poppy. We I have know. two poppies in the house. She's a real happy little munchkin. All right. No. Let's talk about this fourth cookbook is easy breezy. It's all about taking it yeah. easy, getting dinner on the table, mm -hmm. friends around the table, just like really good food that doesn't take a lot of Honestly, time. Honestly, when you're cooking for your family, you got to keep it easy. Don't ever say. Stop. <laughs> we can show who this but all right we're gonna start with the balls okay so these are chicken parmesan meatballs why like do you always say that <laughs> they, or, just, no. would you not you say this balls. Is your favorite what are they one? balls Bobby, they're thank balls you. thank you so this is chicken parm <laughs> in meatball form so we've got ground chicken you could do it with ground beef or anything you're just turkey all 100 all your seasonings and okay. there's some red pepper flakes you want to does that make it too there? spicy for kids i no? mean you might want to tone it down Poppy, I like give every spice. And she, like, oh, you really? want her to be an eater. Yeah, That's I want her good. to be an eater. So like, I Is give that her parmesan? everything. Yeah, Parmesan and panko. So instead of you like, fr this? yeah, just go ahead and stir it so all together. So the raw together. egg is cool to stick in there. Obviously. Yeah, and you don't want to beat it. Well, yeah. you can like get if you're not on live TV, you could get in there with your hands and like really mush it, mush up. it up and get it together. And okay. then once it's done, you're gonna like take a Wait, scoop look, of it. Oh, I see. Look what she did, J B H. She hollowed out the scoop. Yes. And now and you're look. gonna pop. No, uh -huh. I know. And then I know. what? Now and what? And then wraps it with cheese. You would take your hands, your mold hands it all out. around it, and then you're just gonna put it out there. So look at these. So yeah. these have a mozzarella thing well, inside. Well, so this you then put on a little bit of flour, yeah. toss it around, and it goes right into oh, the hot okay, oil. Now, if you decide you don't want to fry it, could you just like bake, bake it? it? Air fry it, bake it, whatever you want. And like this, you don't. You could also skip the flour if you didn't yeah. want like the crust. So wait, are crust. you frying it in literally almost no oil? I know, it looks yeah, like no you don't oil. need a lot because you're just gonna want to like you want brown. it brown on all the sides and then take it off. Let the oil kind of come okay. off for a second, and then you're gonna nestle it in your Can favorite I ask tomato. A question: sauce. How do you Please. know that it's cooked all the way through? So yeah, good you do like four or five minutes on each side, flip it, and then you can pop the whole thing into pop the oven the if you want to, just to like to? finish. You don't need to if it's cooked. Also, like I open it and just look sometimes. Okay. <laughs> There's something happening. Yeah, there's some sort of, something we thought it here. was a raccoon, but no, I think it's the ice machine. No. I just open it. All right. Stop. Okay, Kay. now you're going to make some pesto to go so with it. So this is a basil vinaigrette. It's one of my favorite things. It's like a condiment for my website that you put on everything. Basil, basil vinaigrette? I'm into this. Okay, so I'm like what do you have, got in there? Shallots? So these are shallots and garlic that are in there. Go ahead and throw my, the basil. May I throw this in? Yes, basil. please. Okay. We're gonna put some olive oil in here, and this is one of those recipes you could make mm, now it, while like basil's basil. at the Ridiculous. end of the season. And what's, what's this? Throw salt? some salt and pepper in there. And can I'll you do make the pepper. this for salads and stuff too? This I basil? use this for everything. everything. Salads, chicken, okay. this. You pop the so top yummy. on, and then you're gonna get this insane, beautiful green basil vinaigrette, and just drizzle it on top. And if you wanted to add some shaved parm, you could. Yeah, add some shaved parm. Yeah, more is more. Okay. But like, Wait, I have true. a question. Does Poppy ask for this? Yeah, Poppy mm. loves I mean, the ball. I know she can't talk that well, she but loves the she asks. See, she loves mm. the ball too. <laughs> um, by the way, you just like saying the word Poppy. No, I don't. Feel but like, look at that molten good. cheese in there. It's so yummy. Like, it's so Should the cheese fun. melt or should Gobby. it just be kind of like? It doesn't matter. Like, it's going to be See, nice and warm, yeah, but like, it's like flexible. That's what she says. Just make it. It's good and eat it. I'm going to make this recipe. You rock. Uh, you. you can check out Gabby's new cookbook. You can go to, to today.com slash books. And to get this recipe, go to today.com slash food. Yeah,